And the first one I'm going to do for you is a little pork chop dish. And you start out with center cut pork. And look at how beautiful that looks. And we're going to be browning this. So the first thing you have to do when you get it home is to dry it off really well with paper towels because that's going to help with the browning process. So you really want to make sure you dry the meat really well. And then we want to have a little flour and salt and pepper because we're going to coat these in the flour because we want to put a little crust on them. So in this pan I have ready, you guessed it, some extra virgin olive oil from Umbria. And you really want to start in a hot pan. So get that going and then you want to get a paper bag and in here we want to put a little bit of flour. So here's some flour. Just put a little flour in about a quarter of a cup if you're doing four chops and some salt. A little bit of salt goes in and a little bit of pepper. You notice I'm not touching that with my fingers because I'm touching raw meat. And now we put these in the bag and if you have a large enough bag you can get them all in and all we want to do is coat those really well. Close up the bag and give it a good shake so that they're well coated. Then you can take them out and put them right into your pan. You see how nicely they look. So there's one, two, three, and the last one. Make sure you get all that excess flour out of the way. So now we can get rid of this and we want to make sure those are well browned. Pit enough olives, a variety of olives. If you want to use Cherignola olives, you want to use Sicilian olives, oil cured black olives, whatever you want. All we want to do here is give these a nice coarse chop. We want to mince these up because this is going to flavor our pork dish. And let me see here whether we can turn these. Yes, I think so. We're going to turn them over now. Look at how beautiful those look. And I got fairly thick ones because I knew that you would appreciate it. So let's go back to mincing up our olives. You want this fairly well minced, finely minced. Now, when you have the olives all minced up, you want to have ready some wine. And here we're using, of course, wine from Umbria, from Orvieto, a white wine. And we're going to add that here with our pork chops. You want about three quarters of a cup of wine and you want to allow the alcohol really to evaporate, concentrate the sweetness, the flavor of the wine. So putting the heat down a little bit, you want to add about three quarters of a cup. I'm going to do that slowly to get a nice sizzle on that. Okay, that's about three quarters of a cup. This is looking good and I think we're going to have to take those out. You don't want to overcook these. Take them out and I'm going to put them right in the oven now while I create the sauce for this. So this is going to go right back in here with the scallopine that are keeping nice and warm. Now into the pan, I'm going to turn the heat up now again. And now we add that olive mixture. And you see we don't need to add too much salt or pepper because the olives are pungent by themselves. Now I turn up the heat and I add, oh, about another quarter of a cup of wine or so. And just let that cook down a little bit. I'm going to add just a little bit more and just let that go now. And that's all there is to that sauce. And these go right out onto our platter. 
delicious hot and now we take that wonderful olive and wine sauce and pour it right over the top getting every little speck so there you have it